Hello fellow Linux gamers, my name is GoSquad57 and today I am playing Mark of the Ninja for Linux. Now before I get started I'd like to mention that I am running um, Mark of the Ninja which I purchased from the Humble Bundle 9 I think it is? Jeez, those uh, bundles are starting to get up there. But anyway, I'm running Mark of the Ninja on Debian GNU slash Linux testing edition um, under 64-bit architecture. If you would like my hardware information, um, please go to my YouTube channel and under the About tab, I've mapped out my uh, hardware information. Now, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Click to continue here. So this is the menu. You get a, a you get a click About Us, which can opens links from your web browser to the um, maker's website, Twitter, Facebook, forums, and credits. No one wants to see the credits. Uh, the options you get a you get really all the options you really need. You get controls. Uh, they, there's a tutorial on how to play mm, settings, and you get really basic settings. That all you really need, really, just like resolution, aspect ratio, all that basic stuff. So yeah, nothing special, but it doesn't have to be. Now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the first chapter. See here, you have the title and the description. So. Uh, Ink and dreams. You awake to the sound of a bell and gunfire. You must save as I. And these are the little uh, challenges. Because when you start a mission, you have uh, challenges you can do to unlock upgrades and stuff. I only did about five of them. Anyway, I'm gonna be quiet. Uh, oh, I thought the cutscene would play. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the upgrade screen. I haven't got far enough in the game to even be able to purchase upgrades yet, but yeah, you would get techniques, distraction items, and attack items, but I don't, I'm, I'm, I've only beat the first level, so that's not even there yet. Wait, what's this? Yeah, that's what I thought. And here's your equipment section here, you get to choose your clothing, then there's distraction items. Distraction items are things such as uh, firecrackers and rocks, you can make noise basically to uh, draw enemies away from your position. Then there's attack items like swords or uh, stuff like that, bamboo. Or not bamboo, but like darts and stuff. All right, now I'm gonna be quiet while the uh, cutscene plays here. Alright, so um, as you can tell by the cutscene, you play a badass ninja who kills people. <laughs> That's uh, shortening the uh, description a little bit. But yeah, as you can, uh, if the art style of this game looks suspiciously a lot like Shank, um, that's because this game is made by the same uh, developers. So yeah, that would explain the art style. And the cutscenes are the same sort of way too. Yeah. Very basic controls, W-A-S-D -A -A moves, well, A sort of, S crouches and W looks up, uh, space is how you jump, just really basic stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, the thing that really, that makes, um, Mark of the Ninja different from Shank is that, whereas Shank is more of a hack and slash sort of game, um, Mark of the Ninja is more about stealth combat and execution and stuff such as that. Yeah, right now I don't have a sword, so I have to rely on hiding. It's a really basic system, but it works pretty well. Like you see here, I can hide behind this uh, tree, or rather in front of it, until he walks by. I can lean to... Okay. 
And you see every time you make noise, like when I sprint, there's these huge circles. That's actually like a sound thing to let you know that you're making noise. Oh, ah. Also jump between cover. Oh, that's sort of risky in this situation. I'm not going to do that. Ooh. I do like it. I do like that sound wave thing. It looks real nice. Yeah, see right here I can't sprint or else they'll heal me. Basic. Yeah, I personally uh, prefer this game over Shank. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like the gameplay and stuff is much better uh, done in this game. I just like to focus on platforming and stuff like that. Alright, see so this is the first sort of item you get, the grappling hook. So I can right click on uh, certain objects like this here. Grapple, uh, grab hook my way up. Oop, wrong way. Crawl on this wall, go through this vent. What's over here? So you can peek through these vents before you open them by just sort of leaning on them. Alright. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, there's a secret item here. Scroll. I already got it before, so it won't uh, play the little dialogue that I played before. So the controls feel really well. Or I'm kind of <laughs> jumping around, which isn't really helping my statement. But yeah, the controls feel very smooth, and they're really good. I like them. Yeah, just grapple with past those guys. They didn't even see a thing. Ah, there we go. So now I. This is where you get your uh, first weapon, the sword of the Tetsuji. I'm definitely mispronouncing that. Uh, and it says here you have a little description until they can kill with one strike. Yeah. So really engaging in um, engaging in combat is kind of a bad idea. Um, you always want a stealth kill, always. Good work. But remember, you have to be quick to catch them. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to talk about is when you uh, go to stealth kill an enemy, you have to sort of uh, go in that direction and then left click. Like if the arrow's pointing right, you swing your mouse right and uh, left click to do the execution. If you do it, if you don't do it properly, you the guy will actually make a lot of noise and you might get caught. Sort of is that element. Alright, what's down here? Oh, it's a checkpoint, I believe. Here I get the uh, bamboo darts. Yeah, they don't damage enemies, but they can break lights and such. Whoa! Freeze time with my freaking mind, dude! But yeah, you. When you get the darts, basically the way it works is you hold control and it brings up this sort of uh, aiming menu and then you just right click on the things you want to attack and BAM! Let go of control and it executes it. I like that. It feels very nice getting hitting stuff with the bamboo darts. Alright. See here's an example of the uh, distraction system. See I break that light and that makes him look away. And then I can just sort of stealth kill him just like that. So the game does a very good job on the first level of sort of explaining the mechanics. Um, so that way, you know, you're not left out wondering how to do things. I don't know why I broke that. Yeah, I like breaking windows. I like breaking the uh, lights. It's a bit of a problem I have. Alright, let's kill this guy real quick. I think there's another one coming. Is there? Yep. Alright, I think... Hmm, how can I get him? Yeah, the stealth kills very, feel very good. Oh yeah, I should mention you can drag bodies and uh, throw them into hiding spots so that way uh, other en enemies who walk in that path won't find them. Alright, secret uh, item there. Oh, pfft. yeah, I'm off lot platformers. There we go. Wait, what's that up there? Something could be missing. 
Oh, it's one of, another artifact. Wow, I can't believe I missed that my first time through. I'll spread for a little bit. Oh, I made too much noise. That's not good. Oops, he gone. Alright, hey, I need to be more careful. Yeah, gotcha. Let's ring that gong. Just because I like doing that. Yeah, this one, uh, see you break this, um, see if I can get down there, yep. Break this, uh, chandelier here and it kills them both. Alright, skip through this, run through this door. I like the grappling hook. <coughs> they did a very good job making the, uh, items feel good. I love that grappling hook. Yeah, see that light right there? You can't break, it just makes noise. Bring the gong. Wah! Yeah, and it's also an objective to uh, ring four of these specific gongs, the larger ones. Alright, so you see here, there's a vent up there. So, and if I just run through the door, I'm gonna have a chance to get caught, so it's better to just peek through the door, see the vent there, and then sort of work my way up there. And drop down. Very easy. Okay, I can't go up there. Hmm. Oh, I just got I just got spotted. Up, 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 up. Yeah, you do not have much life in this game. I think enemies can shoot you like three times, and that's it. All right, let me try to. Damn, I'm trying to get his attention, but I guess he's too far away. All right, that should be good enough. Nope. Oh. Do my little wiggle, wiggly dance here. All right, there we go. Oh no, my points. I lost points for that. Getting caught. Points totally matter. Which I think they do. Thank you for upgrades. Alright. Oh no, gotta save Master Azai. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there's a map. So you hit tab and it opens this map and it gives you uh, your objective and how to get there and tells you all your uh, seals, which is these sort of side missions. Speak through this door. Seems good. Bust out the windows, because that's how I roll. Alright. Save my ninja brotherins. Aha! He detected me, but I was able to kill him before he could. Save him. Alright, so he's... He'd be good. What's going on up here? Alright, that should be able to jump up here, stealth kill him. Oh boy, I almost messed that up. I got an idea. Oh well, <laughs> that's probably what I was supposed to do. Right, I'll save you, buddy. Oop, trying to make that too much noise. Oh, I love that, man. Those stealth kills are great. It's all right, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll fix this. Whoa! I did not see those guys there. <laughs> I love how stupid like it. 
of other stupid things the AI always says in the stealth games. Ooh, this light just uh, busted. Wonder what's going on there. All right, let's see what's over here. Whoa! I thought that was a door. Could have been very bad. All right, let's see here. Oh, that's a bad idea, actually. He's going to look right up there. Did I hear Woo, double kill. Sweet. Let's just go. Oh, yeah, secret. Yeah, you can sprint too, but it's almost guaranteed suicide to sprint near enemies. That's how much noise it makes. Woo! Artifact! Yeah, Master Assassin! Wait, yeah, that way. Nope, oh, just for good measure. You pick the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. It's time for the old man to retire, boys. All right, so now I gotta save my master. Master is I. Kill him. He's freaking out, so... Oh, oh, I messed up, I messed up. I got him. Okay. That wasn't exactly the stealthiest of kills, but... Got it. Alright, can I stash his body? Oh, I can't stash his body there. That's funny. Oh. oh, I see which way I should have went now. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a better way to go. Oh well. Get the job done. Yeah, here, don't worry, Master. I'll clean up around the dojo. Ah, there we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and save my Master. Serious. Back. We will fight for our survival and our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so I called upon a champion to fight for Oh, us. you're you flatter me, Master. He will defend the clan. Look at him throwing down that coat like a boss. Alright, so yeah, here's my stats here. So the guys I killed. Alright. Woohoo! I don't know what all this means, but I know I got it. Alright. I feel like one level's uh, good enough. Anyway, yeah, that's Mark of the Ninja. Um, it's the first level, so uh, there wasn't really much to it. Uh, in this, I would do the second level, but I feel like that goes across my usual time frame. I usually try to record around 15-20 minutes. I try not to drag it out longer than that. But um, the second level is pretty interesting. You have to destroy like uh, circuit boxes uh, and disable like uh, red lasers and stuff like that. So yeah, as the game goes on, there's a lot of uh, new challenges and new additions into the game that make the game feel fresh. Um, overall, Mark of the Ninja's pretty good game. I personally like it more than I like Shank. Um, I feel like Mark of the Ninja just has better mechanics and it's just better uh, has better design and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my little let's play. I didn't really talk a lot in this one because it's been a while since I did a commentary. So, you know, I'm sort of uh, rusty at this, you know. Um, anyway, Ghost Squad 57, signing out.